Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Transport Fever on the Gotthard Line. Uh, I was asked in the last episode, uh, as one of the comments, uh, whether I was intending to actually build the Gotthard Line itself, uh, uh, to which I responded, only if I do it by accident. Uh, since uh, I'm not going to attempt to studiously recreate it, uh, as doing so uh, would leave me wide open to people accusing me of using the wrong locomotives, getting it wrong, doing it wrong, and otherwise getting it wrong. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't need to set myself up for that kind of a trap. Uh, that's that, that'll happen without me trying. Uh, so no, if if we end up building it, so much the better. But uh, but don't expect it in this series. Anyway, since you were last here, I've rolled the game forward a little in order to make some cash. Uh, if we have a look at the uh, the old cash book here, um, and uh, and to do that, I've disabled the four times mod for the time being. It will make a reappearance before we finish the Age of Steam. Uh, but frankly, while I'm still building up the network in any fashion at all, uh, not hanging around for three quarters of an hour waiting to earn ten grand, it, it's probably a good thing to do. Uh, so as you can see, we are profitable this year. Um, hell, we were profitable last year, uh, just barely. Um, uh, and that means we can look to expand. As long as the profits are rolling, we can go spending. So why not stay tuned and, and we'll go shopping together. We start our story today here in the peaceful town of Swizz. Uh, and uh, for those of you who have attempted to, uh, to point me in the right direction of pronunciation guides, don't bother. Uh, I, I'm relatively familiar with how, uh, how German is pronounced, uh, but, uh, but I, will, I will mangle the names of things uh, as, a, as a shorthand uh, to, uh, to, you know, making a, a mental reference to them. Uh, so if it makes you cringe every time it happens, remember... You didn't let me rename them. Um, anyway, uh, this is our first candidate. Is what I'm thinking is uh, since uh, uh, Schweiz and uh, Ingeborg are likely to merge. In fact, you know we're what two houses, two houses away from the towns merging already, uh, and we've been running for for three years, two and a half years. Uh, what I was thinking it was that uh, at some point there would be a line that ran Ingeborg. Schwiz, uh, Ilgau, Muertetal, uh, up as far as uh, the, uh, the beautiful uh, snowbound city of Durenboden. Um, we're not quite ready for that yet, certainly because of the amount of incline involved. And, uh, and I hope these people don't get too, you know, attached to their houses because there will be a heck of a lot of bulldozing as we expand up this way. But I thought maybe we could get the first leg done running a, a, a line basically following the path of the road up here and setting the stations up so it could be expanded later on. Now, this would make for, for you know, a nice, nice little mountainy pass. But then I noticed we've got flipping fields in the way, so I would need to get rid of this road, get rid of a bit of road here uh, to avoid, because these are like 200 grand to, to remove. Oh, it's not, even, it's not even giving me a hint as to how much that will cost. Let's, uh, let's do that. There you go. See, 200 grand to remove the field. 930 quid, 201,000. What a jip. Um, so yeah, so we want to avoid doing that for the moment. Um, also, the incline, uh, the, the slope that we're going to go up, I don't know uh, how, uh, how easy to conquer that's going to be, uh, given our range of locomotives available right now. So keep that one on your consideration list for the moment, but we, we haven't signed off on it. Uh, as a project just yet. Uh, then over here we've got uh, Ennitbergen and uh, Wolfenschießen, um, which has this uh, this American number running on it right now. And it's doing all right uh, financially. It's you know it's not setting the world alight. Uh, it's not quite ready for a second carriage yet, or is it? How many have you got waiting there? Thirty-one. Oh, okay, you might be might be proving me wrong. Thirty-seven. So this line here is ready for another carriage. Um, it's going to require me getting a loan. And uh, I think it was Dan B did some work uh, figuring out that actually using the, the little European coaches would be the better way to go right now uh, in terms of profit. But what I will try and avoid doing is, uh, is crossing the streams too heavily with regards to which coaches and which locomotives are matched up. Um, 
you know, I, I have limits, uh, and and that's one of them. Right, you, depot. Um, yeah, I'll quite happily run uh, European, uh, Russian, Chinese, American trains on the same map. Uh, uh, you know, completely uh, inappropriately uh, working together. Uh, but I will try and keep the, the trains au naturel where possible. Right, now, what you need, Sunshine, is you need a passenger car. 270 grand. It's daylight flipping robbery. Uh, but we need one, so uh, so there's that. Uh, you get back to work. Uh, Wolf, Wolfen, Wolfen, Wolfen. Yes. Wolfen, Wolfen is where I want you to go. So here we go. The newly reformed, uh, whatever the hell kind of train this is. Not an American. We're not ready for the American yet. That's that's a good, reliable one when we can get it. Uh, and that should be out in the next couple of years. Excellent. Make me all the money, please. I, I just borrowed quite heavily to get you in motion. Uh, and then as we head over to Locarno and Bern, uh, then we have our final running route at the moment. Let's, let's up the tempo, shall we? Uh, and it's doing quite nicely, uh, as you can see. You know, we've got we've got plenty of passengers waiting. Thirty capacity on the train, and oh, hold on, that's not plenty of passengers waiting. That's holy cow, that's a lot of passengers waiting. That is holy cow, what a lot of passengers waiting. All right, I think it. I think this might be the way to go. I was debating how I could get uh, an extra uh, an extra route going. Uh, without uh, without breaking the bank. So my thinking was going to be, uh, how do I uh, get uh, another route going off the back of one of the stations I already have so that I didn't have to buy two new stations. I could get away with just buying one. But actually, even better than that would be double tracking. That said, I could just sling a whole bunch more wagons on the back of that one. But I am uncertain as to as to what kind of capacity it actually has. So for the time being, I think we'll double track. Even though running two locomotives is a very pricey way to do things. And actually, he's just left there. How many do we have left? Another 30. So I could duplicate the train. And this one, you know, we, we did quite well off this last year. 200 grand in the green last year. Um... That is not to be sniffed at. So running two of them, I'd make twice as much because obviously we'd be uh, making twice as much. Uh, we probably wouldn't make exactly twice as much. There would probably be a little bit of a, a shortfall uh, as the as cannibalisation of uh, of passengers took place. But I think I think we up the tempo. I think we we get this going. Now let's get uh, let's get some signals on here. And you know what else? Yeah, I know. Brace yourselves. You won't have seen this coming. I'm going to make it one way. There we are. Yeah. That's, that's something I don't usually do. Uh, but I think it's high time. I grew up and, uh, and actually allowed trains to only go one way on a track. Uh, there's, there's, there's no other reason for it than that. Uh, there we are. Right. So, of course, I'll have to remember that later on when I'm, I'm dropping something back at a, a, a flipping depot or some such. Uh, but for now, yes, these are release signals. How very observant of you. Uh, right, good. That will do. There are plenty of passing space going on there. Uh, let's get uh, our, our first candidate here up and rolling. So we'll just run, we'll run exactly the same thing again, I think. Uh, we might not be very far away from the next uh, train becoming available. Really? You want me to borrow more money? Okay, so be it. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, what's that? Three, four, five, uh, and then set it on the Locarno Burn line, please. The Locarno Burn line. That sounds kind of cool. Um, there we go. So right, oh right, do it. double trains on there. Fantastic. Uh, that will, with a bit of luck, that will allow me to pay this back before the end of the year. But uh, I'm wondering if I should be expanding further still. And I will be pondering for some time about whether I should have just strapped an extra four or five wagons onto the back of the existing train. Certainly the running costs are lower. And we'll only find out after we've, after we've run the thing for a bit, I expect. 
anyway, we're off and rolling. Uh, so, I guess, with that in mind, we're, we're now looking for another another candidate, right? We're looking for another uh, another two towns that are close enough to each other uh, for me to, to profit off them. And obviously, the other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to get uh, food or fuel or something of that kind running soonish. So, we've got oil going on here. Uh, all right, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I heard you. Well, let's at least go and watch the trains passing one another. You know, this is the first time it's happened on this map. And look at that for a view. There we go. Let's try and find the, the optimum angle. I think yeah, the optimum angle is actually a little further back. That is That is quite an attractive view. They might not be the most realistic mountains we've all experienced, but uh, but they're not bad. Uh, certainly now they don't have their patchwork all over them. There we go. If it goes any faster, it's going to travel back in time. Um, right. Now, given that that one had to wait at the signals, hopefully uh, they'll space each other out uh, relatively, relatively quickly because this... This section of single track is uh, is significantly longer than that section. So that train is going to have to wait at this signal as well, probably, uh, while this completes its journey, and by which time they should be spaced enough that they don't have to wait again. In theory. Right, let's have a look for a fuel, pro pro fuel yes, processing and plant. Excellent. It's there. Good. Thanks for watching. I've been Colonel Fay. No, 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 no. Uh, so what's going to be the best way to do that? It's going to be to run a train, isn't it? It's going to be, you know, bosh it up there, distribute to here and here, and there. Probably over there. Maybe a bit over here. Okay, right. Well, I'm, I'm not in the market for that at the moment. That's going to be very expensive. And as uh, pointed out in the last episode, uh, the trains can't haul enough to make that worthwhile right now. They're going to have to wait a little longer. So you know what we do have money for, though? Uh, Frutigen and uh, Candesteg. Uh, congratulations, chaps. You're about to, you're about to join the, uh, the transport revolution. Uh, only for, you know, I'm only going to do all this uh, carts and, uh, and, and, tra and trains business for a short time. I want ships fairly pronto. Uh, but given that it's half a million quid's worth of infrastructure to set them up, uh, it can hang on for a little while. All right, Mill Lane. Yeah, that's very Alpen uh, and Springfield Road. Uh, where am I going from? We're going from Fruity. Uh, F-U, F-R-U even. And uh, Candace Steg. Can. Commuter. Spelt right. Flawless victory. Uh, right, we'll stick a depot in the middle. As is our way, uh, we'll buy ourselves a whole bunch of road vehicles. I'm thinking four, two, three, four. Yep, I will mix them up, and we'll set all of them on the the fruity can the the, the fruity candish deg line. Uh, good. Right now, that's going to take a you know a, a few minutes to pay off, so we'll we'll just leave that one going. But my basic principle right now is expand, 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 uh, because uh, every line I can make that generates any kind of profit at all uh, is going to allow me to expand a bit faster. Do we want to do Stans Luzerne as well? You know what? I think we probably do. All right, fine. Well, we've got the cash in the bank. You might as well get it done. Uh, now, what I'm not going to do, I mean, uh, in Train Fever, uh, what we would have done at this point is we would have spammed about, oh, I don't know, uh, 3,500 wagons on all these town routes, uh, getting them, you know, ferrying back and forth and, and making us an unholy amount of cash in the process. Probably doing the same with a goods route or two as well. Uh, now, that worked in Train Fever like absolute bilio. It doesn't work in Transport Fever because the running costs of vehicles, uh, it escalates very, very quickly. What are, you, what are you even doing here? Just pull up the right buttons and everything will happen as you, it's supposed to. Um, 
so I'm going to try and max out these routes with, with just four vehicles running so that the running costs never never exceed the profitability, in theory. Um, and we'll see how we get on. Right, what are you? You're called Stans. Uh, S-T-N. Mm -hmm. uh, S-T-N. And that was Luzern. No, not Stan. Stun. Uh, and that's Luzern. L-U-Z. Uh, commuter. I'm going to buy another flipping depot. This is too many depots. We need to be deleting some of these so we don't have to pay the running costs. I know it might it might not be an awful lot of money to to run one of these, uh, but it's less money to not run it. Yes, I think you see where I'm going. All right, okay, that's another one going. Now, providing all of these can generate some kind of profit over the course of their lives, uh, this this will work out quite nicely. Now, Stans isn't quite close enough to uh, Wolfenschiessen, Wolfenschiessen, uh, for me to uh, to put it in motion. Uh, because it's a it's a curve around this this section of mountainy hill, uh, it's it the the, the transit t transit time is going to be so slow uh, that it's not gonna it's not gonna pay off. What might be worthwhile, however, is sticking another another coach on the the little commuter service we've got here. Meanwhile, how is our double American going? Twenty eight to twenty eight, perfect. Not terribly quick, uh, but uh, let's have a... No, no, no. We don't need to talk to Austin. Austin's fine. Uh, finances. Made 112 grand last year. Now you're talking. Uh, right. We got stung for 52,000 in loans. I need to take it easy. I'd, uh, I always want to keep some loan available so I can do an emergency expansion should the need arise. Uh, and, uh, you know, and that's the, that's the goal. Uh, I bet I've left a depot up here. Look at that. Wasteful. Let's kill it off. Was it going to, what, what is the running cost on a depot? Someone must have done the research by now. Uh, but here we go. Running cost, property maintenance. Right, we're up to 58,000 in property maintenance. Right, these depots are contributing to that. So by, uh, by taking them back out of the picture again, especially when I'm not considering up upping the number of vehicles in service, surely that's got to make sense. Even if it costs me 10 grand to replace it, you know, further down the line, uh, hopefully I will have saved myself over 10 grand uh, in, uh, in maintenance costs before then. I, oh, this is so deserving of a, you know, a cracking uh, passenger service. I and mean, I could possibly, what I won't do, right, and I hear, you can see what I was thinking already. Let's, uh, let's bring up the, uh, the port button. We're not going to build it, but I just wanted to kind of mull it over, right, is obviously we're going to stick a, a docks, a harbour, a port, I don't know, on the edge here somewhere. Uh, and the obvious one would be to stick one on the other side of the river. They never make money. Uh, I've tried it before. They, you, making money out of those is next to next to impossible, because while you might be dropping people off on a regular basis, the the journey is so short uh, that your profit is completely diminished. And uh, in any of the the shipbound journeys that you make in this game, the uh, the getting in and out of a port is uh, is the bit that takes the time. So I think I would probably be tempted to do a you know a Luzerne. To, uh, to Vitz now. Uh, presuming we can get under that bridge. I'd be very surprised if we couldn't. Uh, but we, think we could then go, you know, we could hit San and we could hit uh, Brienz. There's lots of good uh, lakeside towns here. It's like Geneva. It can't possibly be Lake Geneva. I didn't think it was quite so rivery. Someone will tell me. Someone would. I could look it up, right? But I've got, that's what I've got you here for. All right, you, you get to fill in the gaps in my geography so I don't have to look at this lot. 180 people waiting. Well, I mean, I know I've got more capacity now of people, but I haven't got that much more. Goodness me. Right, are you going to have to queue here? Or is this going to work flawlessly? And we're going to get a passing shot no matter how you cut it.
Right, and then ready on the tracking camera. Wait for it. Tracking away. Terrible tracking. Too fast. Might have to get a bit closer up. Nope, still too fast. Which must mean that the train is too slow. Oh well, never mind. Uh, presumably you've, got, you've only got 23 on board. There's 180 people waiting to come the other way. Why is Locarno so completely horrendous to live in compared to Bern? I'm, I'm not seeing it. I think Locarno's nicer, if I'm honest. It's, it's on the coast. It's got a bit of forest going on. Mountains just behind for a bit of, bit of daytime skiing. Maybe I need a... No, it's not even that there's people waiting to go to the station. They just don't want to leave Bern. I was born in Bern, and that'll, that's good enough for me. I'm going to stay here the rest of my life. Now, clear off. Uh, right. Now, we can make slag here, which could be turned into construction materials there. Spotting an opportunity. Uh, we've, got a, we've got an iron ore set up over here, which is obviously, you know, flaming miles away. And then, where's the coal? Where is the... There's the coal. I like how they've put this in the mountains. This is, this is clearly a pre-designed map in terms of uh, town location and industry location as well. One thing I've noticed is that there are very, very few industries on this map. So you're, you're going to be very limited... Uh, where you set up uh, your your industrial lines. This works for me. Uh, it very much works for me. Um, I, I look forward to the challenge, particularly because I've got the, the uncapped industry mod switched on, uh, which will allow me to uh, uh, produce enough to, to, to supply really quite a lot out of a single industry. There we go. Drop off. Make me money. And how many are you picking up? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve's not going to do it there, uh, chaps. It's it's not going to... We need more than that. Definitely going to need more people than twelve on this train. So I'm going to build a level crossing. In the hope we encourage the AI to get its build on. Uh, let's uh, let's run it over. Here. I don't know. Run it over here. I suppose. I want to leave enough space so that people can build right next to the station. Because obviously they're never going to get bulldozed in the near future. Oh no! Definitely not going to happen. Uh, yeah. Let's just leave it at that and see what the AI can make of it. Uh, that's assuming it will get any growth out of there at all. If I actually, if I completed this road, we'd probably get a few more passengers toddling along as well. Uh, so let's let's do that. Whack that out there, and then uh, uh, that's that's the ugliest bit of road I've built in this episode. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, I know what I want. I want uh, I want something like this. Yeah, that's better. Splendid. Yep. Good times. Uh, right. Okay. That should. Uh, well, it'll, it'll do something. I would hope. Maybe we'll get a few people from around here, you know, decide to take a stroll to the station. Uh, that would certainly be helpful. Um, right. I would very much like one more line before I, before I wrap things up for today. We're off to a slow start. That was always going to be the case. This looks like the most unsafe place I have ever encountered. That's fixed it. Um... And I can't wait to work this farm. I, you, you could build a properly big station there, uh, which would be pretty good looking. And then you'd have to you'd have to figure out how to get it around the mountain, or maybe using trucks or something like that. I don't know, but I'm loving this map. This map is absolutely fantastic. Uh, just because it's you know as much as it suggests the uh, the the best routes to take, uh, you you know you've got you've got a ton of choice about how you link things up. And that's before we look, you know what, I'm gonna build a mountain route. And here we go, to Vetch to Mooster. Uh, you chaps would appear to be uh, volunteering for, uh, for the next great uh, surge of growth. Or at least surge of wagons coming through. 
Hey, you know what? We could we could hit up Trons at the same time. Ace. I'm not even bothered about what side of the flaming road I'm putting people on. How oh, rubbish is that? Uh, and given that we're going to... You know what? I might even multi-stop this. That's something I don't usually do. Okay. Yeah. Let's. I'm, I'm all for experimenting. Uh, let's go one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Uh, right. This is this is the chili line, which I'm not going. I'm not going to call it the chili line. This is going to be T uh, R N. Uh, I can't do a normal out, unfortunately. Uh, I don't have that facility. Uh, and T. Do we want to go T A V? I don't know. T A V is a bit boring, but it'll do. Uh, commuter. Commute. Okay, fine. Clearly I ran out of characters. Uh, you know, depot me one time. Don't make it too expensive. I know we're in the mountains, but that doesn't mean you have the right to price gouge. Anywhere around it. I'm not going to pay 15 grand when we all know that 10 is the standard going rate. I'm not going to pay 80 just get knotted. We'll start up here. Where the, where the land is flat and the depot, no, when the depots are too expensive. Oh, come on, just give me a 10 grand depot. Don't make me pay over the odds, that's unnecessary. I'm going to bulldoze it straight away anyway. No, none of this is flat at all. Well, this is a, this is a drag. Yeah, I know. This is this is me who doesn't sweat spending forty million quid on a bridge. Is getting a little bit het up about spending an extra two or three grand on a, uh, on, a on a depot. The the irony is not lost on me, and because of that, I'm going to make them all ride in open top buses. Right, that's six of them, and uh, where are we going? Trun Mustav, which I'm sure means something in Swahili. Uh, right, there we go. Let's have a quick look at the scores on the doors for this year. Last year we spent a million quid. That's very generous of me. Uh, 800 on a train, 110 on, uh, uh, on sundries. Uh, this year we've only spent 82, but we've made a 100 grand profit. This is the kind of ratio I can get behind. Uh, we might not be talking mega bucks, uh, but you know, from these kind of small acorns, Larger acorns will grow eventually after the oak tree grows, as goes the famous saying. Uh, anyway, that will that will wrap it up for this time. Uh, we're going to continue progressing at this kind of speed, I don't doubt. Uh, come on, people of Burn, leave Burn. Um, yeah, progress is going to is going to take a you know it's going to take its time for a little while, uh, but hopefully, if I can keep adding. Uh, you know, if I can add a new train line, or at least a new train in service every couple of years, it will pick up slightly quicker. I didn't realise that was a slope. That's not just a slope, that's a heck of a slope. Oh, here's the shot we were hoping for earlier. Where's it? Where do I actually want to take the shot from, though? That, that's fun. There we go. That's fun. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Chuck, a like at this one uh, if you had a good time. Uh, and uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, I, I, as much as this is a formulaic uh, exit from an episode, uh, it, it, it helps me out no end if you subscribe. Uh, it, it allows me to get searched just a little bit better. So if you can find it in your heart and you enjoyed what you saw today, chuck a subscription this way. Uh, I'll catch up with you again very soon, and uh, don't you go changing. Uh, have a nice week. Um, it won't be a week before I'm back again, uh, particularly if you're watching this series in old school time, because you can just click up the next one. All right, I've, I'm out of material. Uh, I'm off. Cheerio!